Hey guys, welcome to the Time for Tea Designs channel. I'm here today with a video tutorial featuring a new product of ours, um, our Sunny Side Up stencil. I'm also going to be using our Life's a Beach stamp and coordinating die set, as well as some other stamps to build up and create my scene. So first of all, um, I've stamped out my, my first few images from the Life's a Beach set and I'm colouring her up with some Copic markers. I'm using my, my usual technique of starting from lightest to darkest and I'm working through this one pretty quickly because there is quite a bit of colouring um, in this tutorial as well as um, quite a bit of time spent on our stenciling technique. So I did want to focus a bit of time on that and not spend quite so much time on the colouring. However, I did want to show you all of the elements. So I've just um, coloured up her hair there and now moving on to her accessories, the inflatable, um, the bucket and the rest of her clothing and just using uh, again that same technique of lightest through to darkest. I've then used my white jelly roll pen to just add some highlights to her hair and the accessories. Moving on now to um, the rest of the accessories. So the sandcastle here, I've just applied um, my colours and then I'm just using a dotting technique with the darkest of the brown just to create a little bit of a texture to the sand. And like I say, I have made this pretty quick. Um, I've listed all the colours that I've used above and using the same sort of technique and I'm trying to keep all of my colours um, coordinated so um, I've not really changed up or mixed up my colour palette too much. I'm using the same colours for the flip flops and the ice cream and popsicle as I've used for her clothes and for the inflatable and bucket and that'll just add a, a little bit of continuity to the, um, the colour scheme. So I've now just stamped out some extra images and these images I've taken from the amazing stamp set and the Two Can Do This stamp set. And the, the images from the Two Can Do This stamp set are actually um, a tree branch and then some tropical leaves. Um, but I'm going to use these to create the effect of a palm tree. So in colouring up the branch, I've just added some some lines to um, to the to the branch there, the, the the base of the branch, which will effectively be my tree trunk, and that was to give the illusion of it being a palm tree rather than just a tree branch. Um, so I'm just going through the each of the leaves, um, colouring them all up exactly the same way. So I've applied my lightest colour first to all of them. And now just going through each of the darker shades to add a little bit of depth um, and colouring them all up at the same time just for, um, for a bit of speed. And then moving on to my little crab, which I'm doing in some shades of red, my starfish in shades of yellow. And then again, to keep the colour theme together, I'm using the same greens and blues um, as I've used previously to colour up my shells. So now each of those elements are complete. I'm just adding some highlighted areas with that same jelly roll pen. Um, just adds a little finishing touch. And then using my Wink of Stella um, glitter pen to add a little bit of sparkle and shimmer. So here you can see all of my images have been die cut with the coordinating dies. So I didn't uh, show you that just again for making sure that this video wasn't too long in the end. And now I'm moving on to the stenciling. So this is the new stencil Sunny Side Up and you can see here um, on screen that there are different, lots of different elements to it. I'm currently using the slope element of this stencil uh, to create some sand banks. So I'm using two different colours of Distress Oxide ink and Distress ink, um, the scattered straw and old paper and just using that to create um, a little bit of illusion of sand. So I've used the stencil one way and I'm going to turn it over and just wipe the back of that so that it doesn't transfer to my my page and then sticking that back down and then applying some more colour so that it appears that there is a bank in the background. But you can see from the, the rest of the stencil that there are other elements. So on the right hand side we have some grass 
On the left hand side, there are some cloud shapes. And then in the middle, you have your sunshine rays. So it's a really versatile stencil. You can use it for lots of different applications. But today um, I'm going to use the slope and the clouds to create my beach scene. So I've just gone over a little bit there um, with a darker with the darker um, brown just to add a little bit more depth and then sprayed some water um, again to create some texture. I'm now covering the entire back portion of my uh, focal panel because I want to add a little bit more texture to those sand banks um, and I'm going to do that using some Dilusions Melted Chocolate Ink Spray. So this this is quite um, a difficult spray to use in that it, it does spray in quite large um, splatters. So I've just used um, one of my uh, stamp blocks to create a little bit of a buffer so that it sprays against the block first and then the spray around the outside is what hits my panel. And that's just created a finer mist and um, gives me a better effect um, in the end. So the next um, step is to mask off um, the sandbanks that I've already um, already applied so that I can continue with the rest of my background. So I'm just using some uh, masking paper here and I've drawn around my slope in the two different directions that I've used and I'm going to apply each of those to my panel. And here I'm just trying to figure out which, which way around I've used it before I cut that out um, and then just again apply that um, to the other bank and now I'm going to use a stamp from the swimming by to say hi stamp set and this one is a series of waves and I'm going to use some embossing uh, powder to create this these waves in my background so I've just prepared my um, my panel with with my anti-static powder first and now applying some embossing ink to my stamp and excuse my head in shot there but I wanted to make sure that I'd lined this up and it was really quite difficult to see um, as it is just a clear ink um, but I've applied two layers of the um, of the waves and some of those overlap my masked area so that it will appear like the sea is behind my sandbanks. Applied my um, embossing powder and now I'm just going to set that in place with my heat tool. And this is this is just will create a really nice effect once it's all dried. Um, and I will just set this to one side um, just so that it dries properly before I apply any colour. So I removed my, my mask and let it dry for a second, then reapplied. And now I'm going in with um, my blender brushes to add um, some colour to my waves. Um, you'll notice that I'm using uh, these blender brushes which are just really, really cheap cosmetic brushes that I bought from Amazon. Um, I know there are some more expensive ones out there, ones that are created specifically for crafting. However, I did uh, I did want to just try them out before I spent any more, you know, a lot of money on them. So uh, I found these and actually I really, really like them. I don't see any need to buy any others. They work really well. Um, and the the great thing about them is that they do come in these different sizes. So this is a smaller uh, smaller brush but it allows me to get into the detail that little bit more and they clean really easily um, just by rubbing them on the microfiber cloth that you saw me do there. So I'm taking a slightly larger brush now and I've flipped my stencil round to the cloud um, side and I'm just using um, that brush to apply some tumbled glass um, ink and I'm just going to flip, keep flipping the stencil over so that I get a variety of pattern with my clouds. Um, so again, just using a really light touch to begin with, applying the ink onto the, uh, the stencil itself and then moving it onto the paper and leaving some white space in between each layer that I, that I apply. Um, and again, this just creates a really nice effect of fluffy, fluffy white clouds. So taking that right the way down to my C edge. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to go over the whole area 
with that same tumbled glass just to soften up the white areas and really um, blend those in really well. And I do find that these brushes do create a really nice soft effect. Um, I don't seem to get any of the harsh lines that I sometimes get when I'm using other blending tools. So I, I would recommend that you, you check those out. Um, so I've applied a little bit more uh, water splatters to my to my clouds and a bit more texture. And I did just mask off the sandbanks before I did that as I didn't want any more water applied to that area. So the next part of, uh, of the process is to just try and arrange each of my elements, decide where I'd like them to sit so that I can then add my sentiment. And the sentiment uh, will be the title sentiment of the stamp set, Life's a Beach. Um, and I'm just using my uh, stamping platform to make sure that I've lined that up correctly and using some VersaFine ink a couple of times just to make sure I get a really clear impression. Now I have my sentiment in position, I'm just going to add some touches to my stamped image of my little girl. And uh, when you place her onto the scene, there is a little bit of white space between her feet and behind the inflatable. So I just wanted to fill that in um, with a little bit more um, masking and distressings, just so that it looked like the back, it, it was continuous in the background um, and the tiniest little uh, blender brush that comes with the cosmetic brush set is perfect for getting into these just little tiny areas so um, I've just applied the tiniest little bit of ink and just using really gentle smudges to work that ink into the background and I think this just finishes it off really well um, and then to make sure that it does continue with the, the pattern in the background, I'm using my white jelly roll pen to create some lines for the waves. And then I will use one of my Copic markers in a dark brown um, and just add a few dots to, again, give the impression of that same um, ink spray um, against the sand. So that works really well i'm really happy with how that's turned out so i'll just move her to one side while i then attach my focal panel to my card base so i'm using an a2 side folding card base and just using some liquid glue to attach um, my focal panel to that base you will see at the end that i decide that i actually want to change this um as i wasn't happy with the final look but uh, we'll we'll come to that later on in the video for the moment now I'm just building my scene so I'm just adding my uh, my fake palm tree <laughs> to uh, the back with some um, some liquid glue and arranging each of my tropical leaves um, to create my palm tree and just adding those again with some cosmic shimmer liquid glue and as always um, I end up with glue everywhere and just have trouble picking up each of my elements so I really must guess get myself some tools that will help me um, help me with that because I always end up in a bit of a sticky mess so um, the final leaf that I'd done in the end I decided I didn't really need it it was adding a bit too much height um, and was interfering with my my image of my my girl so I decided to leave that fifth leaf off and then apply some foam tape to the back of the girl image and add her to uh, the front of the tree. And then arranging each of my other elements and using a combination of liquid glue or foam tabs to um, create height um, where I wanted elements to be more in the foreground. And then for the starfish, I just wanted him peering out behind my uh, my palm tree um, which I thought was a really cute little spot for him and then I looked at some of the other elements that I'd um, stamped and cut out and felt that they were the proportions weren't quite right for this scene so I've left those out for another project but used the the little seashells from the amazing stamp set and attached some of these really small foam squares so that they pop out in front of my sand castle so just adding each of those and these tweezers are really handy for picking up these really small elements. As I say, I, I tend to be all fingers and thumbs. 
So in order to um, bring the eye into the sentiment, I felt those little seagulls with um, a black jelly roll pen just really added an extra little bit of touch there. Um, and this is the area where I felt that it needed a bit more uh, colour around the scene. So I've cut off um, the back panel of my card, trimmed it down ever so carefully using a craft knife, and then used some of this yellow patterned paper from my stash to then create a new focal panel that then fits onto the same size card base. And that then, um, once that's all fully, fully stuck down, that is my card complete. I really hope that you enjoyed the, uh, the video today. I really enjoyed creating this card and I was really pleased with how it turned out. The stencil is available in the shop at the moment as part of a set um, on special offer at £12 for four of the stencils. So that's a great discount. So be sure to check that out. And I'd really love it if you uh, could like and subscribe to the channel today as your support is really appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day.